Mark William Lanigan was born November 25, 1964 in Ellensburg, Washington. He was an American singer-songwriter, author, and musician. First becoming prominent as the lead singer for early grunge band Screaming Trees, he was also known as a member of Queens of the Stone Age and the Gutter Twins. He released 12 solo studio albums, as well as three collaboration albums with Isabel Campbell and two with Duke Garwood. Lanigan was known for his baritone voice, which was described as being as scratchy as a three-day beard yet as supple and pliable as moccasin leather. Lanigan began his musical career in 1984 as the frontman of the psychedelic band Screaming Trees, with whom he released seven studio albums and five EPs before their disbandment in 2000. During his time in the band, he also started a solo career and released his first solo studio album, The Winding Sheet, in 1990. He subsequently released a further 10 solo albums, which received critical recognition but only moderate commercial success. Following the end of Screaming Trees, he became a frequent collaborator of Queens of the Stone Age and featured on their albums Rated R, Songs for the Deaf, Lullabies to Paralyze, Era Vulgaris, and Like Clockwork. Lanigan also collaborated with various artists throughout his career. In the 1990s, he recorded an unreleased album of Lead Belly covers with Kurt Cobain of Nirvana, and joined Lane Staley of Alice in Chains and Mike McCready of Pearl Jam in the band Mad Season. He formed the alternative rock group The Gutter Twins with Greg Dooley of the Afghan Whigs in 2003. Between 2004 and 2011, he released three critically acclaimed albums of duets with Scottish singer Isabel Campbell of Bell and Sebastian. He also contributed to releases by Moby, Bomb the Bass, Soul Savers, Tenerywen, The Twilight Singers, Manic Street Preachers, and Uncle, among others. Lanigan struggled with alcoholism and heroin addiction during the 1990s and early 2000s. In his 2020 memoir, he claimed that, at age 12, he was reviled as the town drunk before I could even legally drink. During a Screaming Trees tour in 1992, Lanigan's arm became so badly infected from heroin use that doctors considered amputation. After leaving the Screaming Trees, he became homeless for a period of time. He entered rehab in 1997. He credited Courtney Love, who paid for a year of Lanigan's rehab, with saving his life. After his first stint in rehab, he entered a halfway house and was given a job looking after Duff McKagan's house. He relapsed in 2004 and briefly went into a coma. After this relapse, he supported himself by painting television sets. He entered rehab again in 2006 as of 2020, he had been sober for over a decade. Lanigan was a friend of Kurt Cobain and had been invited to his home a few hours before his death. He was also a friend of Anthony Bourdain, who encouraged him to pursue writing a memoir. Lanigan wrote an obituary for Bourdain for The Observer in March 2021. Lanigan was hospitalized with severe COVID-19 and almost died. The virus had led to him going temporarily deaf, being unable to walk, and slipping in and out of a coma for several months. In a 2020 interview, Lanigan had described his beliefs in a number of COVID-19 conspiracy theories, including the idea the virus is linked to 5G technology. He also described paranoia that he and his wife were being surveilled by technological appliances. However, in 2021 he said he had concluded that the COVID-19 pandemic was a natural event, and also admitted that, I was one of those knuckleheads who was wary of the vaccine. But I learned my lesson. I'll be the first one to get a booster shot when it's available in Ireland. Lanigan died at his home in Killarney, Ireland, on the morning of February 22, 2022, at the age of 57. Condolences go out to his loved ones and all the fans that followed his music, if you have a fond memory of Mark feel free to share and comment below.